and this is why we have a waiting list. Hey there, today I want to share with you three basic, very basic tips that can keep your property on a high occupancy, good tenants, and low delinquency. And I'll bring a real example here to show you what we're doing here to keep our property 100%. And if you like this video, please go ahead and hit the thumbs like and make sure you share, share with your friends and we'll love to get more content for you. So many real estate owners and investors usually think that is just about putting your money in the right place and buying as many properties. Well, this is kind of correct, right? You should do this and choose very wisely where you put your money in. But there's something unique here about the real estate, right? Because you're dealing with real assets that involves real people. The community alone, that's just improved tremendously. It just make a huge, huge, huge difference. So tip number one, make sure you align with the staff on the property to have an open channel of communication between the property manager and the residents. Make sure they're there to listen and to understand what they're going through, what the needs are. Number two, keep everything clean and correct places. The trash, everything on the property nice and neat with the landscaping. And I want to talk about that later on. But just keep everything nice and presentable. So pick up the trash and just make sure the property is well clean. Number three, promote events throughout the years. So the residents can achieve a sense of community there. So that you're doing something for them. So you have to kind of budget that in for the property. But there's a hack way that you can do this. You can contact one of your service providers, for example, your landscapers, your tow company that does service for you, the plumber, the roofer, that usually does regular uh, uh, work for you. Just be like, hey, would you like to sponsor one of my events here? I'm trying to put this event here for my community. Can you sponsor by uh, paying for the bounce house, paying for the food or something? They will love to do that, trust me. They will love to do that. This past weekend, we had an egg hunt at the property in Cleveland Pioneer and it was amazing, it was great. Here's a rock star, outstanding Minnie. She is a property manager. The thing about Minnie and I is we are on the same page. We are very well aligned between us and her and she does an outstanding job. Here's Minnie. They wanna live here because of everything that the company does for them. We're having an Easter egg hunt. We do have a bounce house for the children out here. And we do have a taquiza for the children, cupcakes to come out and have fun for the day. We tend to do this for the residents twice a year. And this year we plan to do it a, a little more because we're gonna get a playground out here, a soccer field out here, the pool, we're gonna have a grand opening for the residents. We do have a close relationship with our residents and everyone wants to live here for that fact. We do this for them to come out and enjoy. So hope now you understand a little bit about how taking care of the property, of the community, of the people is just, it's a huge, 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 did I say huge? huge investment on your property you know those things itself is very basic yes yeah, you might be asking yeah what about the rent growth what about all this stuff but you know this is the basics and if you do this right everything will fall in place and of course we're going to put more videos about how to strategize different strategies how can you do rent bumps and all the strategies that you do to increase the noi on your property so i hope you like this video and if you do like it go ahead and hit that thumbs up and I want to see you here. If you have any comments, just put down below. I'd love to get to it. And I appreciate it. Let's build an empire together.